Hello YouTube, uh, gonna have another review for you today. Uh, I'm not in the same place I usually am because the other computer is having technical difficulties and my brother sent this one in and uh, I'm currently gonna be using this one for the next undetermined amount of reviews until um, I can figure out what's wrong with the, the recording of sound on the other computer. Um, but this is what he's got. It's whole wireless setup, keyboard and mouse, and the monitor is like this big. And ugh, the little recording camera is, is actually on the monitor, so I can't really maneuver it. So I'm just going to do the best I can for you guys, and if the lighting is poor, I have a little flashlight. So we'll see what we can do about that. But what I'm going to be re reviewing for you today is um, a comparison between performance apparel of Adidas TechFit and Nike Pro. And I'll also be showing you um, actual Nike Zoom to explain to you how that works because a lot of people have been asking me what's, what is Nike Zoom because you can't actually see it in the shoe. Um, but let's start. We're going to do a comparison of the upper of each. Um, and first of all, let's just put this out here. That way we don't have to get into it later. Um, the Adidas Tech Fit is much more elaborate than the Nike Pro and it's um, I mean it doesn't really it's not a whole lot because of course it's just it's just uh, base layers this is like underwear if you will you wear this underneath your shorts underneath your jersey um, when you play a game but the Adidas weighs slightly more than the Nike Pro and that is for uh, a, a number of reasons um, and I'll get to that in a minute but uh, let's start with um, just comparing the tops. Um, the fit of each, uh, I can't find the sizing on this. This is the Adidas Tech Fit again. You can see it. Um, Tech Fit written across there. Or um, Power Web because it has, of course, if you haven't noticed yet, these, which is um, polyurethane, which is slightly stretchy. How this, uh, this Tech Fit works is you wear this, it's very tight. When you stretch, bend over, cross, whatever your movement is, it stretches the polyurethane panels and it loads energy into the shirt and gives you a little bit more spring or support. That's the idea behind them and I'll get to how I feel about that in a, in a minute. The Nike um, Pro Combat is all one material. Um, it's it's base design is um, dry fit, which is a a sweat wicking fabric. Excuse me, a sweat wicking fabric. Um, it does a pretty good job of it. How it works is I've, I've explained to you how this works by loading energy. This does its job by well, we're just going to use this shirt as an example. Don't look for a wet spot. There isn't one. Let's pretend there is though. It, you spill something on you, a, a small dot. And of course, this dot would be on you for 20 to 30 minutes on a normal cotton shirt. Um, but how this works is when you begin to sweat and sweat starts to pebble up on your skin, this is of course compression. It's skin tight, so no sweat is neglected. It's all being contacted by this shirt. How it works is it takes a little dot of moisture and it spreads it over a larger surface area and when it spreads over a larger surface area it'll evaporate much quicker in fact uh, I've, I've watched like sweat drip off my chin onto like dry fit shorts before that were black and it's kinda weird watching it because it'll it'll hit it and it'll the the drop of sweat will sit on top of it and then it'll it'll just disappear and spread out into like this really large spot and then kinda like sink down and it's gone and it doesn't it's not wet anymore it literally just wicks sweat away like that. It's gone in a flash. Um, but that's the basis between these two. Um, also, for the TechFit PowerWeb, um, the only ventilation that this has is up around the neck. If you can see, that is just the neck panel from the back view. It's only, I don't know if you can see where it starts and stops. But um, it's not, yeah, there we go. That's where it starts. It's just about the back, um, two or three inches of your neck. The armpit, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can probably see that. 
armpit is mesh. Let's get a better look at that if we can. I don't know. Um, just believe me on it. I mean, uh, I understand that the lighting is poor. Well, no, I got this right here. Um, there you go. You can see the mesh. There you go. That is where that's at. I'm glad I have that with me. And as well, um, there's no reason to point it out because it's drawn out for me. This red panel on the back, again, this is the back, this, um, this resistance system is on the back. And if you see all of this red, um, anything inside of that red is also mesh. So that is your mesh. You have the back neck, the armpit, and the center to lower back, um, about a stripe of ventilation. Other than that, this shirt does not ventilate. Um, <laughs> drop that like a bombshell, but uh, it really doesn't. Um, it's it's actually kind of like the polar opposite of the Nike Pro. This stuff um, has a tag on it. It says Climacool. And I don't exactly, I haven't looked into it because I'm more of a Nike person. I haven't read into how this works. But honestly, I've played games in this. And, and when it sits in my dirty clothes hamper, and you know before I actually do um, my laundry, when I come back like two or three days later, the stuff is still wet. Like it, this stuff gets rid of sweat in a matter of minutes. This stuff will hold on to it for days. That's the main difference between um, I, th I feel like in the Nike Pro and the Adidas Tech Fit is I think that's how they expected this to be climb a cool. Is um is it holds the sweat and when you're running the wind hits the moisture, and it just it feels really cool. Um, I don't mean like cool as in wow that's cool cold it feels cold when the air hits the moisture I'm guessing that's the premise but going on these further into the the whole idea of this shirt the power web you can definitely see the silver one and if you can see the reflection it also has a little other something something going on um, that's very difficult to show um, with the actual shirt so I'm just going to demonstrate it with this shirt you have an X across the upper third quarter of your back and two um, black stripes which is also polyurethane it's just painted different they go over and they're about like on the outside of your chest and also you have um, that, that, that the one that goes over your chest it connects to another one the lower X in the back you can see that it also has a lower side it goes from the front to the back and it connects in a Y and goes down to about your pelvic area um, and that's that's the location of the polyurethane panels on this and the idea is when you stretch and twist and turn it loads energy and provides support um, if you've had a physics class you know about loaded energy well this is loading energy when you um, when you stretch it loads it primarily it's more so in the shorts which is what we're going to move on to now is the compression shorts that again the Nike Pro and the Adidas Tech Fit we'll start with the Adidas Tech Fit first because it's more dynamic and we just got done talking about it here's the back side of it it's fairly elaborate and the front side's fairly plain um, let's start with the ventilation first because it's probably the most simple part of it um, it has a fairly solid lining of, uh, I'm just gonna take this flashlight and stick it inside of them. This is this is in the normal section of it. Uh, you can see about the amount of light that's getting through it, and then about in the in the inner thigh, it has a different material, which I believe is a little bit more breathable than the rest of it. And here I found it. It's it's all dark black. It's hard to see, but I don't know if that looks any darker. You can see the lining, the threshold of it. This is in the mesh right now. This is outside the mesh. It really doesn't look any different. But the difference is the mesh actually has a, you can actually see light through the mesh. I, you probably can't in here. But, um, and the rest of it's a very smooth and very consistent pattern of, of I guess you would say, threading. 
so I don't expect a lot of breathability and it actually it is and it's it's much like the shirt it holds on to moisture and it has no breathability um but the these are a little bit more I think planned out than the shirt was these this is your buttocks area the where these where these polyurethane panels are um and how this works is when you squat down you know to take a jump or you're sprinting and you really you really spread the gap between your legs um it it'll vastly stretch out these polyurethane panels and um hopefully load some energy is, is the idea i honestly though uh after wearing these for several months i got them before the season started and i've worn them to many practices pickup games real games and i've worn these to just as many probably more because i've had these for years and i've had these for months um i don't really think the stuff works uh, i haven't noticed any like increase in sprinting jumping endurance anything like that i have noticed though um in the shirt i like the back support it gives it does give back support and in the shorts my main the thing i really like about these shorts which I haven't even gotten in, into the Nike Pro Shorts yet, is they're long. The Nike Pro Shorts are a little bit shorter. These, I'm, again, I'm six foot tall. This is, I believe, a small. And w when you get this stuff, this is compression performance. It's supposed to be really tight, so don't be afraid. If you're deciding between two sizes and a siding chart, go with the size that's lower because you want the stuff to be tight. That way it does its job that it's supposed to do. But again, this is like a small, and I'm six foot tall, and it comes, when you put it on, it it came to about right right above my knee. And the thing is, you see these, this is the inside of the legging. This is, this is three little rubber stripes that are very smooth and soft. It's not like abrasive, like it's not going to eat your skin off. It's, it's soft. It's, it doesn't do anything. What it does do, though is when you put these on you know about normal compression shorts you put them on and you look at them a couple hours later and they're not where they was when you put them on they're they're several inches higher on your leg these when you put them on you can play in them for five hours you lift up your short look at them they're exactly where they was on your leg when you put them on and that's probably my favorite thing about these is how they they they, they stay long and they stay compressed the whole time while you wear them. Once it, they bunch up, once something bunches up, you lose that compression uh, performance. These stay long, and they stay um, they stay stuck to wherever you put them on because of these three little rubber stripes that's on the inside of the legging that that gives it a little bit of grip, but not too much. It's not even it's not uncomfortable at all. It's even if you have leg hair, it doesn't bother it at all. So um, that's what I really like about these. One complaint about the shirt, while we're still on it, on the Adidas, is that it's so long. Like, in fact, this shirt's, like, very long. And it's either a small or a medium. I can't find the tag on it on what size it is. But it's very long. In fact, look how long the arms are on it. The arms are literally, when you put the shirt on, it's a short sleeve t-shirt, sort of, or a mid sleeve t-shirt. I, I, it's what it's more like. It's it's built like a, like a t-shirt, but it's... It's like a mid sleeve because when you put it on, they literally come to about right above your elbow. The sleeves are, if you look, the sleeves are very long on these. And the bottom of it's very long. When you put these on and, and you have it stretched tight like it is, like it's supposed to be like fit like this. When you put them on, um, they come to about halfway down your thigh. Um, but they end up sliding up. So one thing... Again, the final note on these, when you put these on, tuck this inside of this. Not inside of your shorts, inside of these, and it fixes that problem. Uh, that's all I have to say about these. Um, again, they're, they're, they're not heavy, but they're not as light as the Nike Pro. They don't wick sweat. They do give support, and they stay where you put them on. If, as long as you tuck them in, they'll stay put, and the shorts definitely stay put. So... These are very good, and uh, these cost about $50 a piece. But if you look around, you can find them on clearance. I think I got both of them for 60 So not a bad deal, and I, I enjoyed having them. Um, 
the shorts on these, as you can tell, they're much shorter, and they slide up a lot. Um, but what they do do, they are they are um, again dry fit, and they're much lighter than the tech fit. So if you were gonna pick something to play basketball in for a very long time, I would go with the Nike dry fit because it'll keep you dry. It's not as restricting because it doesn't have that resistance that the tech fit does, and it also um, it's also more mobile. Um, and it weighs less. So if you're going to play for a long time, I'd go with the Nike Pro. Um, support, I, I would say this this stuff does a better job of it. But that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, the shorts tend to ride up. Uh, I don't know if that's just a missizing or what. But I'll be trying some different kinds of Nike compression shorts. But um, I like them both. They both have their pros and cons. And I really wish I could just take the best of both worlds and put them together. But I can't. So you're just going to have to decide on your own what you like. Also as well, the Nike um, Pro runs for about uh, $20 to $30 a piece versus this stuff is $50. So it depends on what you like. Um, and a lot of people ask me what Nike Zoom is. And I literally cut apart my Nike Zoom Hyperdunk 2010s because I don't wear them anymore. And this is a heel unit. And as you can see, it has chambers. And they're really odd. If you look, they'll... They will compress exactly where you push and then re realign themselves. And what this is, it's like a air pressured um, fiber chamber. And it's very responsive. You can tell by how hard it, it whips back. Um, the same with the forefoot. It's a little bit thinner again. The heel unit is generally 14 millimeters in a Nike basketball shoe. The Zoom forefoot unit is generally about um, 8 millimeters. So 14, 8. The heel, of course, or the forefoot one, of course, is has a wider surface area, so you can cover more of the the palm of your foot. Um, the heel unit is not as wide, but it is longer to kind of like transition your heel to toe movement a little bit better um, this stuff if you if you want to know what Nike zoom is used for it's for lightweight cushioning these both together probably provide more cushioning than any other cushioning unit that you can buy in a shoe and these combined weigh less than an ounce um, but they're very bouncy very high pressure um, not plush. You, when you think of plush, you think of like soft. This stuff isn't soft. It's more like this is soft. This is bouncy. Like this stuff pushes back really hard. Like this is the stuff you want to wear if you want to sprint fast or jump high or be very quick on your cuts because when you, when you push into this stuff, it pushes back really fast. Um, the heel, if, if you want to know what it looks like in a shoe, this is about what you're looking at. Um, the heel unit, the forefoot unit, and that's your setup. This is about like that. And even in, in, in one particular pair of basketball shoes, there's actually a full length of zoom. But this is what this is what you're looking at whenever you have um, a zoom basketball shoe. Anyways, um, I hope that answered some questions for you folks. I um, hope you all enjoyed the review on the performance apparel. Um, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, just ask them in the comments below or inbox me. I'll be glad to answer them. If your questions re uh, require a longer and more elaborate answer, I'll just make a video for you. Um, so anyways, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you like the videos. I'll be having more that will come out periodically. Um, but that's all I have for you today. So until next time, have a nice day.